Tampa and Jenny earned a place in history with their finishes, becoming the first American women to medal in each of their respective events. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to Colorado's very own Emma Coburn and Jenny Simpson. so much for having us. Um, you know, you introduced the whole idea of Forever Buffs, and um, I think what our job here, first of all, to be a buff, it's so important to be a part of something. And so all of you guys are part of something. And I think what our job is tonight, and for all the different spotlight events, is to show you that you're part of something really good. I can't say enough about um, uh, the resources that CU um, has provided for us and the training that we've done. We have logged literally thousands of miles, not just out on the creek path and around campus, um, but just around that uh, red oval out at Pottsfield. So this is a picture of the Olympic Stadium. Um, it's beautiful. They did a really wonderful job. Um, but what's coolest about this photo is how you can see um, just outside of the stadium is our warm-up track. A lot of the biggest and greatest stadiums in the world, this is how they set them up. So all the athletes that are getting ready um, for their competition, they all share that warm-up track on the outside. And they can get really busy. This is the Naval Academy. So you guys can see where the Naval Academy is. Um, the United States Olympic Committee built a track for us. And um, that's one of the incredible things about the support that uh, people give to the U.S. Olympic um, committee is that they build a facility for just the U.S. US athletes um, to practice the whole time we're at the Olympic Games. And that's what it looked like. So that's where we train every day. It's a perfect picture of Emma's steeplechase barrier um, that she did all of her practice jumps on before going out to the official track. It's really beautiful and especially at night. We could be running around the track and you can look off in the distance and the Christ Redeemer is lit on the top of one of the mountain peaks. And you could see it from the track. It was really beautiful. See where it says Flamingo Park? Our apartment was right about there. And then the Naval Academy, you can see, is just north of there. So we, were, we stayed in an apartment really close to the actual training facility. So this is, these are some pictures from inside the stadium. Um, the top left, that's kind of a view of what it's like standing on the starting line. The days leading up, I talked to my coaches about what's the best strategy, and Jenny does the same. And what's the best strategy for us to finish high up and what's the best strategy for us to medal? You check in, you give them your name, they check your bib number, they check that your spikes are the correct length, they just gather you up and check all the details. But then you're sitting in a room, you know, this close with your greatest enemy and <laughs> trying to stay calm. And once you get in there, that's kind of when the shift mentally happens. It's like, all right, warrior princess mode. I am ready to race. We line, you know, they take you through the call room, they line you up, bell goes off, you all have seen the races. Um, and I think we have different tactics and, and every athlete will have a different way of approaching a race and a different way to feel about it. But my race ends and it was glorious, it was wonderful, I was so happy. You get the flag, they taught you well, like Jenny said, to hold the flag properly. And I remember getting tossed a flag from USATF. Um, staff member and, and throwing the flag over my head and just falling and it was the best moment of my life by far. It's definitely all worth it and so much fun. I was gifted with a lot of confidence and uh, it, it's, it's not just now that I walk in a room thinking I'm probably going to be really good at this. Uh, <laughs> that was something I had as a child that my parents had to really, really learn how to navigate parenting. Honestly, I grew up thinking I could do anything and that I could climb a mountain if I wanted to and I could go run a race if I wanted to and so like Jenny I think I naturally had confidence didn't have any limitations on myself and then kind of bolstered that with hard work along the way you can work hard and you can put hours and hours in and and that will prepare you well so that's equal for everyone we travel the world competing and love what we do and love training in a place like Boulder and having the support of CU and having the support of people in this room. So we hope you guys can follow along and uh, come with us on the journey. Well, I think I speak for all 250,000 alums out there that we have your back. And we are very excited for your successes and let's give these fine women a chance.